Her Royal Highness, distinguished guests, and rare disease community participants, good morning. It's a great pleasure for me to address you today. All people should be able to participate fully and equally in society and in the economy. It is not only their right, their participation also represents a huge contribution to the whole of society. As Commissioner for Equality, I am fully committed to achieving that objective. Health conditions can make it difficult for people with rare diseases to take part in society and the labour market on an equal footing with others. Rare disease and disability are strongly connected. Rare diseases are often associated with a wide range of impairments. Those impairments in interaction with barriers in the environment can lead to disability. The first EU initiatives on rare diseases date back more than 20 years. Since then, the European Commission developed a whole range of activities and innovations supported by specific legislation and by different funding instruments. Throughout those years, patients have been at the very centre of EU-level efforts. I am aware of the substantial challenges that people with rare diseases can face in daily life. The Eurordis Rare Barometer Survey, supported by the Employment and Social Innovation Programme, outlines the impact of a rare disease. Everything from socio-economic status, family life, education and labour opportunities can be affected. And in addition, there is an increased risk of discrimination. These impacts may affect not only the person with a rare disease, but their family and friends as well. The ongoing Rare 2030 pilot project identifies newly emerging challenges, for instance, reproductive choices, and the transition into adult care come into play as more people with a rare disease live longer. The coronavirus pandemic has revealed inequalities that have a damaging impact on society as a whole. The current situation underscores the need for a union of equality for all in all its senses, as President von der Leyen has called for. Eurordis is currently running a survey to map the impact of the coronavirus, which will provide welcome input to tailoring the European response. Equality for all requires having dedicated legislation and policies in place. But it also implies mainstreaming the equality perspective into all EU policies that have an impact on people's lives. I am working with all commissioners to that effect. Under EU law, we have achieved extensive protection against discrimination on various grounds in the field of employment and occupation. I refer here in particular to the Employment Equality Directive, which prohibits discrimination, among others, on the grounds of disability. The European Court of Justice has ruled that persons with an illness may be protected by the directive where they are considered as having a, dis a disability under the directive. But the court has also made it clear that sickness cannot as such be regarded as a ground of discrimination in addition to those covered by the directive. Our aim is to strive for a union that has no gaps in equality legislation. In this respect, the Commission is currently exploring all possible options with the Member States for the adoption of the proposed Horizontal Equal Treatment Directive. The proposal would ensure that equality applies to everyone and in all aspects of life. In the face of the ongoing health and economic crisis, it is important to ensure that equality applies to everyone in all aspects of life. The proposed horizontal directive would protect those who are particularly vulnerable, including in access to social protection and access to health care. Equality needs to be mainstreamed in occupational safety and health, and it is particularly relevant today. Concretely, it means that the specific risks 
faced by specific groups of workers, such as those with rare diseases, should be fully considered in the risk assessments and in the preventive and protective measures required under EU legislation. A response to the coronavirus should also mainstream equality concerns. Together with Commissioners Kyriakidis and Schmidt, I addressed the relevant ministers in each member state, emphasizing the need for specific measures for vulnerable groups in the context of the coronavirus crisis. I reiterate my full and strong determination to promote the rights of all to participate fully. I can ensure you that the Commission will not step back from its efforts to achieve equality in all its senses. I wish you all a fruitful conference.